Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Elex. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today here in the middle of the snow as we meet our brother, uh, our blood brother, and uh, hopefully fix up a lot of unexplained aspects to the storyline so far. I think he's gonna fight us, but I'm okay with that. Let's see what happens. Otherwise, prepare for I the cheese. I know you're here, Kallax. Show yourself so we can end this. Where is the tactical skill that had the hybrid ready to appoint you one of the chosen? There you stand in the open, ready to be picked off. How vulnerable your feelings have made you. What brought you here, Kallax? I sent you one message, and you came running. No feelings. So, you know about our past? Wardick should have kept our secret. I will not let you spread the story further. I will keep my honor. That sounds like emotion to me, Kallax. Ooh. Fear, anger, Ooh. confusion. It did Which it. of those drove your attempt to murder me? Murder? You failed your mission. The directive is clear. Failure of a mission is punishable by execution. Is that why you really came here, Jax? Are you ready to die? He didn't call him out on his bullcrap. He didn't. My God. Uh, are these? Is this, is this an option? Because it's all questions, and it doesn't look like options. What did you mean? Appoint me to the chosen. All Albs the hybrid sees is having Alexator potential. He knew have this. Have a bio core chip implanted to maximize their efficiency. They and others he sees the potential in. We have been selected to serve his future, to ensure the future comes to pass. You had been chosen to evolve to the next level. The hybrid had even had you implanted with a chip ready to communicate with you, so he could guide your thoughts. Poor voice actor. Poor voice, not just him, all of them. <laughs> had he even had? No, wait a minute, that makes sense. But he, I, he stuttered a little bit, which that, that is how it is. Had even had. You can had had. I think. Yeah, yeah, you can, because that's a, yeah, sorry, I'm being overly critical of things. I'm just you know, just expecting the things and 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 we're just dwelling on on explanations we knew already that the that we were going to begin me an elixir. That's the whole point. That's why I'm here actually. If I have Not a just chip, that. then why hasn't the hybrid ordered me back to Zaycor? How can I have my free will? No elixir. Because you got lucky. I don't have elixir. Your chip must have been damaged when Ooh. I attempted to execute you. That is the only explanation. Oh, so that, that actually solves a, a problem that I honestly didn't see. I see other problems in, with the whole quest line, but it, it does solve a little bit of a problem in regards to how uh, Jax just readily stopped being an Alv, and it never was questioned, never was foreshadowed any or anything, this explanation, but it does solve that issue and explains that. So if you wanted to pick on that, and hope, why does he get rid of Elex so fast and other Separatists are just not capable of doing that, even though clearly they want to. Some of them uh, explicitly want to. Others are just sort of implied. Uh, that explains it. Uh, there's a... Well, maybe it doesn't fully explain it. Because I, I have the chip, but the other Separatists don't. So this is just... a thing that didn't matter and still doesn't matter. Convenient, yes. Convenient that your proof has been destroyed. Tell me, Jax. Do you never see images you can't explain? Visions? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Some no, of those no, you don't. will be memories. Others are thoughts that spring from your connection to the hybrid. He <laughs> sees the future, the plans of the free people. All of Magellan and some of those visions will have leaked into your mind through the chip. That's not the messaging that gets through to the player. They look like flashbacks. They're sort of meta storytelling. They're like memories. He said some of those are memories. Yes, they are. Like, everyone sees visions and Im images in their head. I mean, I say everyone, but um, I suppose uh, people who are blind from birth can't. Because um, they don't have that knowledge that 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 for I guess 
knowledge about the, what it is to see. So maybe, yeah. So otherwise, everyone sees, like, I can see all the images. Well, not all the images, but I can see images in my head right now. Uh, and even looking at, even like, even with my eyes open, I can still think of that. And that's not really seeing, right? But the problem is the game didn't transmit that we were, like, a simple throwaway line at the beginning would have been simple. And I don't remember that. Like, him just saying, oh, what was that? What have I just seen in my head? It's almost as if I have a connection to some entity. But no. No. <laughs> now it's explained that it was supposed to be sort of a supernatural thing. Sure, whatever. I must speak to the hybrid directly. What is the code to his chamber? Get to the point. Only Alexiters can be told that. Yes. You are no Alexiter. I know the code is something to do with the hybrid's past. That's not going to convince all him. all I know of his past is that the Alps found him. That he showed our leaders the future and took control of our people. The past is irrelevant. All that counts is the future. Oh, this game is very flashbacky right now. No, callbacky actually. That's called the callback. Uh, did that when on the passage up to the new chapter and again. So why does the hybrid hide this? What is it about his past that he wants to stay hidden? You saw his past when you had an audience with him. What I saw is irrelevant. The universe, skies stretching to infinity. Does that relate to the code? You said Tarek talked about the old world. Is that a clue? Come on, Kallax. You know there is more to this. I know you wanted answers then. You must still want them. I serve the directive. The law demands the death of those who learn it illegally. That's so not right. a problem, because you want it me dead anyway. To do with his past, with what you saw. The past is irrelevant. He wants me dead, he doesn't matter if he tells me. Well, actually, he might. Because, you know, he's not gonna... Oh, I might die, he thinks. So I'm not gonna tell him, even though I'm just about to kill him. That's actually a very... A very tropey thing of, of, of villain just being like, Oh, you're gonna die anyway, so I'm gonna explain to you the whole thing. And just gonna give you all the things. <laughs> mm. So it's a good thing he's not doing that. You expect me to believe that you have never wondered about the code? He knows it the code. It could be anything. It would be logical for it to be read. He doesn't know the code? It would be efficient to change it. Oh. But instead, the code remains the same. And is rumored to link to his past. He no but he knows Doesn't the code. that sound emotional? Why would he stick with something like that? It has to mean something. You are allowing your own emotions to cloud your thinking. Our world is in the hands of the hybrid. It's called projection. You should know what makes him who he is. The past is irrelevant. All that counts is the future. You're bugging the out, dude. The hybrid must achieve supremacy. How long have you known that we are the children of berserkers? I have always known. You were too young to remember. But I have always remembered the faces of my real parents. But they too are irrelevant. We benefited from the fact we were taken from the berserkers. Um, he but he knows the code. He's an elixir. He just said only elixirs that are allowed to be told the code in specific. And also he says you are not an elixir, as if he could tell me the code. So he knows the code. There's no reason, oh, aren't you wondering about what the code is? He knows the code. That's what I thought we were coming here for. But I, I think maybe we're just looking for clues, even if he's not going to tell us the code. You are my brother. That must count for something. Are you trying to provoke an emotional reaction? Emotions are a waste of energy. They cloud perception. You have come to me with the emotion and twisted logic of the free people. Listening to you any longer is a waste of time. I will end this here and now. Always oh, angry. You had your chance. All those emotions. But you let it pass. You know what's not you really. Will not stand against me. Oh, what the pretty sword that you have, sir! Sorry, I just shot you. So. Oh, just like that. The code is something to do with the hybrid's past and the vision that Kallax saw. Kallax's reaction proves I'm on the right track, and it has something to do with the old world. Perhaps it might mean something to Harley. He knows a lot about old world installations. <laughs> Who do I know that knows about the old world? Oh, Harley! That's right! He likes all that old stuff. 
the old stuff that I'm surrounded by right now, right. by the way. Let's find some trouble. We have been here before. Oh, this has been looted. I don't really know why I'm going around for no reason. Uh, maybe we'll sleep? Let's sleep, nasty. Uh, where? What's that? Okay. So, until morning. S sleep face down, because, my god. Honestly. Oh my god, my back would die. There's gotta be some action here. Nope, no more action. That, that was just that. That was just him. Okay, we're good. Okay, moving on. Voice of Helix. Thorold wants help with Helix experiment. Yes, yes. Who am I? A code for the hybrid. Let's do this. Now, where is Harley? That would be... Oh. I don't remember who he is. Okay, it's just that line just says that my companions are here. So that's why it doesn't matter. Harley. Oh, that's right. Harley is the guy that uh, the builds things. I think. Or is that him? Jonesy. No, that's when the guy that builds go? things. What? I just arrived. How are you getting on with the raider? We're almost there. But only almost. What else do you need to get the raider ready? One of the control jets must have taken a hit when it came down. If we don't fix that, the only thing you'll be flying is circles. I think I might have it. How do we get a new control jet? Well, only the Albs built this kind of raider. So I guess the only place I can think of would be an Alb maintenance center. That means looking near the ice palace in Zaykor. So, not easy to get. Here, I got the replacement control jet for the raider. Well, that's a good piece of work. I'll get to repairing this right away. I need that raider ready. The Albs are gathering strength to attack the free lands. We have to be one step ahead of them. Well, I almost have the thing done, but... You want to take it to Zaykor? Don't forget, half of that crate is mine. Ooh, a lot of... We're getting a lot of enough emotion options. I like it. I like it a lot because I'm spontaneous and... And... I don't know what else. At least wanted me to cut, cut you in half. Uh, the Raider's the only chance to... What? What does that even... Uh, let's go with this one. Unless you want me to cut you in half, get the damn thing done. Hey, watch your tone. Don't forget, what? I put this pile of shit back together. You'll get That's the why I when said. I'm ready. And one more thing. Let's not pretend that I don't know who you really are. Okay? Who You've I'm... done some impressive stuff. So don't turn out to be a shit in the end, will you? Who am I? So, when does the Raider have to be ready? There are a few things to take care of first. Is there a time scale coming at any point? Now. I want things now. Why is there... Work all day in the light. <laughs> all right. So this is where we're up to. I have to take care of the Alp commanders in Zaykor. That way, I can open up a path to get to the Ice Palace without the Alp forces in that area killing me before I've managed to get close. I still have to figure out what the Separatists will do when we march into Zaykor. Thorold the Pilgrim is yet to complete his Elix experiment. That must be done before we attack. I still need to learn the access code for the Hybrid's chamber. I need that before I attempt to enter the Ice Palace. Well, it sounds like there's still something to do. Yes. Come back when that's taken care of. I'll make sure that the Raider is prepared. Good. Just make sure you get it done before the whole damn Alb army shows up here. You make sure. One question. They're saying you're fighting your brother. I killed him. So? I killed him. So, is this just some big family bust up? No, no, I killed is him. Is there any chance you're going to turn around and buddy up again? No, he did. I'm only asking because, you know, this affects the fate of the world and shit. No, it doesn't. Don't be up. <laughs> it's the fate of the world. It just affects your life. Shut up. <laughs> what do you think it is? Just the Alps. It's not really the fate of the world. It's just the fate of y your world. Right? That's... Seriously, don't, don't be like, oh, we're in a video game and this is going to be always about the world. Yeah, that actually was a little bit... I, I don't like that he said the fate of the world. I met with my brother. I killed my brother! I met with my brother Calix, the Alexiter. Ah, really? And you beat him, right? Then we should be happy you're not in pieces. I mean, that guy's a maniac, right? My brother won't trouble us anymore. But this is far from over. So, this is more than just a family feud. So what's the problem? The Albs are led by the hybrid. It is him they serve. It is him they pledge their lives to. But I don't know why. I don't know what he is planning for the Albs or for Magalon. Everything that happens, that has happened for generations is because of the hybrid. Only he can answer my questions. 
Only he can end this war. Is he? So, what are you planning? If I am to get the answers I need, then I have to find a way to get to the hybrid in the Ice Palace. But that means I need to get the code to access his chamber. Do you know where you can get it? Yeah. Uh, it hasn't been generations, though. It can't have been generated. It's been like 20 or 30 years since the war. Since the combat. I don't remember how long it has been, but it can't be. And honestly, the storyline doesn't matter if it is if it has, like... If they pull some Fallout 3 stuff where oh, it's been th 200 years since the war, look at this newspaper that's been staying here for 200 years out in the weather. Uh, if they pull that, that's just irrelevant. You can ignore that because the game... It doesn't affect anything that it has been 200 years. If it has been 200 years since the combat. It hasn't been. It hasn't been that long. It's been like... I mean, looking at everything, it's been like 20 years or 30 at most. Just the, the amount of rust you find and all that sort of stuff. At most. And even then it would be stretching. But then again, you know, for gameplay reasons, we're not going to get all this stuff just turning to jungle and, and things. Um, let's go with this. All that I know is the code has something to do with the hybrid's past. It has something to do with stars, the universe, infinite skies. Infinite skies. Hey, that's something I've seen before in a couple of places. Oh, no. But where? Where? Oh, no. Yeah, I got it. There's an old industrial complex out to the southwest of Idan where I found some stuff that mentioned that. An old lab there. Yeah, I've been there. But, nah, forget it. Why would that have anything to do with the hybrid? You mean the old world ruins at the foot of the mountain? Where I found the first replacement part for the Raider? Yeah, that's the place. That's where I saw those words. It could be a coincidence, but... Weird, huh? I mean, maybe you can find the answer there. Yeah. Perhaps. But there's only one way to find out. And that means going there. Now, the word Infinite Skies was not used before in any of these dialogues regarding this. We saw the flashback. They didn't say the word Infinite Skies. We talked to Kallax. No one said the word Infinite Skies. And now he said the word Infinite Skies. And guess what? The NPC that we're talking to immediately realized what it was about. <laughs> as we did when he said the word Infinite Skies. I didn't see that coming, honestly. It's just because we don't deal with Infinite Skies too much. If it was a little bit more present whenever they said the words that were similar re similar to that, they were to see the, the space that goes on to infinity and all that sort of stuff. That that makes, or the skies that grow onto infinity, that, that would be a little bit more obvious because it would be a little bit more juxta juxtaposed. Um, but I just forgot that infinite skies was even a thing. It's been a long while since we've dealt with it. All right, so this is where we're up to. I have to take care of the Alp commanders. And okay, so it goes back to that. That way I can open up a path. Yeah. I still thought I, I... Well, some... Oh yeah, okay. Good. Cool. Cool indeed. That guy didn't like any of that, but... Who cares? He said he, he didn't like that at all. At all. Oh, don't like that at all. What is this? Okay, let's uh, get rid of these jerks. That fucking brute is looking for trouble. You jerk. There we go. Pretty good. Get all that. Very nice. Okay. So, where are we going next? We need to do the separate... Well, we're doing this. Fantastic. That's why we needed to come over here, because he would allow me to figure out... Oh my god, that's even worse. Well, this is all fucked, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty broken. Uh, that is really bad. We needed to talk to that guy so that our character would be able to say the word infinite skies for the first time. Randomly. Randomly. And of course, that character who knows less about any of this stuff than we do would just realize what it actually is about because well duh that was convoluted that was convoluted i mean it's just story delivering really but still it was convoluted anyway we know where to go we have been here and i remember this place um at least it's good at least it is really good that that it was a place that we had been to before while doing... It's also cool that it's right here. Uh, while doing a quest for him. What I don't like is that there are so many enemies in here. I think we're good. There's another one. Oh, 
looking for trouble. Easy. Go on ahead. We're doing some shooty shooty. No, oh, yeah. An explosion in here would just actually kill me. Ooh, this is gonna be tricky to, fi to see anything. Well, she's gonna be all right. A smi oh, slime dragon. Eh. Yeah. Yes, there's another one. I'm trying to get the loot out of this one. Hello. Are you, um. Oh, you killed a rot mold. Good. Let's go. Some oil barrels down there. Another one over there. Good stuff. I really don't know what we missed and why we need to come back over here. Because we read about all the things. We opened this entrance. Aww. Why did I have to take damage from there? And here's the place Harley said he found reference to infinite skies. Yeah, we've been down there. An old world complex built to hide something from the outside world. Mm -hmm. Infinite skies. A corporation that worked on secret research in the old world. They say the hybrid saw the day the comet struck that he survived. It must be true. Here he was, holed up and hidden in a device of his own making in order to protect himself from the impact, saved from the fires, but changed by the elix. There is a big bunch of elix down a there. Man become mutant. All that had possessed him while he was a man was the thought of surviving the disaster that was to come. He tried to prepare a select group, those who would be welcome to the infinite skies. A chance to leave the planet, to avoid destruction. But the plan failed. The government failed to listen to him. He had failed to save them. All he wanted to do was survive. Oh. So here he hid. Here he survived. But what did he become? Elix flooding his body. His hunger for it grew. His mind opened. He became more dependent on it. But what was this man? Who was it that became the hybrid that rules Zaycor today? Of course. Dr. Adam Charles I realized Dawkins. that, Vex, when I said it. Immortal. <gasps> inaccessible. All. Not powerful. Not all powerful, no. The pinnacle of evolution. Ooh, really not. Still driven by the need to survive, he began to see the future. He saw the future then. But what of now? Can the hybrid truly see the future? What does he want? It's a good for question, himself? actually. Survival, safety, a future for us. There is only one way to know. We know of this way. I must speak to him. We have been Secured trying to... with a password yes. that referred to the name its human form once took. Now I can reach him. His name, Dr. Adam Charles Dawkins. Now I know the code to the hybrid's chamber. I should use it. You are... Perhaps I will finally get the answers I am seeking. You are jumping to conclusions, my man. You are jumping to conclusions. Yeah, I saw... I, I, I realized it was Dawkins when he said... When he started talking about, oh, he was here and survived and all that, and we and remembering, the um, th who we actually, you know, we read about him and all that sort of stuff down here. It's quite a lovely place, even though I can't see anything. Oh, I'm totally lost. It's this way. Wait a minute, there's oh, it's a teleporter upstairs. Let's see what I can do. And of course, we have been down here. Uh, it was relative. I mean, it was cool, but it wasn't, you know, that cool. I was expecting at the time to find, like, an underground civilization or something. That'd be really interesting. But of course, now knowing the context of the, why is that over there? Knowing the context of the storyline, it makes more sense that we didn't actually find too much. Um, so yeah, now we know how to get into the thing. Uh, the last flight is still on a thing. The voice of Elix Thorold. Oh yeah, let's do Thor Thorold. And that would be. Oh, it's we're pretty close actually. Let's go there. And uh, have a chat with Thorold. Again. But we're going to do that next episode because we're out of time for the day. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Elix. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching. 
and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.